Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, pretty sure. Yeah, it's Wednesday, March 9th, 2022, when I'm filming this. Outside, it's, uh, it's a, little, a little chilly this morning, minus 20 Celsius. I'm just going to convert that to America speak for you, for all my American followers. I know there's a lot of you out there. Minus 20 degrees Celsius is minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what we're starting the day off with today. It's supposed to get a lot warmer throughout the day. That's nice. Oh yeah. I had the my toque on the heater on the dashboard there. For a little while now I got a nice warm toque on my head. I do, did the same thing with my gloves. I always do that. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're hooked up to an empty step deck right now. I gotta go pick up some freight in Winnipeg and bring it to Glenboro, Manitoba, which is that way. It's in like South Central Manitoba. And then when I drop that there, I have another load in Portage La Prairie to bring back to Winnipeg, and that's gonna be the day. So let's get to it. The earlier we get done, the less likely that we'll run out of time. Does that make sense? You don't wanna run out of time. You gotta get everything done. It's the same trailer we had yesterday. Gonna use it again today. I'm gonna have to sweep off a bit of snow on here today but should be good to go. There it is, that's all. Not that big of a load. That's all, gotta go to Glenboro, Manitoba. I'm gonna take it there. Huh. I think I will. Then I have a reload, like I was saying before, in Portage. So I'm just at the uh, Esso card lock here in Oak Bluff, Manitoba. Quick pit stop and then we'll be on the road. This guy's got a nice Super B here. That's the exit over there, but nobody can get out because all those drivers didn't want to park back here in the parking spots and walk in and get their coffee. They wanted to park there. So I could go that way, but I'm see now there's a car truck coming in that way. That's why I can't come this way. Now we're stuck. Oh no, that guy's trying to back up here. I better wait. I'll just wait. That's a little bit frustrating. Just a heads up for you Manitoba drivers or drivers coming through Manitoba. You know where this uh, Tim Hortons and Esso is in Oak Bluff. Please don't do that. That's so annoying. <laughs> There's parking spots back here. You can park back here where I am and uh, leave the parking lot a little easier to get around. All right, so what's this guy doing? I know this guy's, he's gonna go that way. Okay, I am going to roll out to the entrance and hope for the best. And worst comes to worst, I just gotta back up again. This guy's over there blocking the entire exit. Only because they didn't wanna walk from the back of the parking lot. That's the only reason, there's lots of parking. Oh, my friends, my friends. This guy too, he's parking over here. There's room up here to park a few trucks, but uh, there's a limit. We got out of here, no problem anyway. We'll be okay. I'll live, I'll survive. Maybe though, just maybe someone will watch my video though and be like, oh, I did that once. I'm not ever gonna do that again. I didn't know how rude that was. Uh, yeah, that's why I give these little tips because sometimes people are a little oblivious and that like innocently oblivious and that's okay. I don't want to harp on them for that or like put them down or anything. Some people just don't know. Some people are just never taught proper etiquette and what's rude and what is the right thing to do you know so sometimes they just need a gentle little reminder being like no that is just not the way we do it that's very rude we want to be courteous right maybe i'm just naggy i don't know i'm not trying to nag you guys I'm just trying to make the world a better place for everybody so i gotta take highway two I think there's a roundabout up here too. 
Oh, great. I think number two just goes straight over, but I gotta go like around and... All right, here we go. Yippity-doo. Wait, two west is that way. Okay, so we wanna go this way. Two west, cause Glenboro is on highway two, that way. This intersection here always confuses me. Which way are you going, bud? You're going that way. Okay, I'm going this way. Have a good day. This intersection sort of at an angle, so it's hard to see which way is my, my directions get all messed up, like north, south, east, west. But here we go. I heard that the highway is doing all right. You can see it's still got some icy sections, but to Manitoba standards, this is great. Great highways. Look at this. You can see the pavement. That's good. It's a good day to be trucking. Unloaded now in Glenboro. Glenboro, that sounds familiar. Where else is there a Glenboro? I feel like I've been to Glenboro before, but it wasn't this Glenboro. I didn't even know Manitoba had a Glenboro until today. I thought it was in Saskatchewan. Even yesterday, they told me I'm going to Glenboro. I thought that was Saskatchewan. Oh, we're in, we're halfway across Manitoba. Eh. Now you know we all learned something together. Empty step deck. There it is. I'm gonna go put some more stuff on it. Because it's always better when you have stuff on the trailer. And then you tie it down and you bring it somewhere else. That's the fun part. Let's see, ah, how far away are we? We are an hour and 18 minutes away according to Google, 119 kilometers. What is that, 70, 75, 75 miles? All right. Here we go. Gonna go that way. We're facing south right now, so we're gonna go east. You know what, there's a car coming right now and I am way too nice again. Mostly because it's gonna take me a while to get going on this road here. It's pretty slippery, I'll just wait. I wonder if they know that I waited for them on purpose. You're welcome for not inconveniencing you. See, we're spinning like crazy here now. Come on. <laughs> we're stuck. Okay, let's lock up the inner axle lock. There we go, put power to both drive axles. Still nothing. Okay, and we don't need that. I'm just gonna back up a little bit here. There's no one behind me. Got a little bit of a running start at it. My bad for stopping there. All right. Oh, traction control. My nemesis. Doesn't do nothing. These automatic transmissions. There you go. It's the worst part about automatic transmissions. Circumstances exactly like that and traction control. Because when you start spinning on a hill like that, all traction control does is it just locks up your wheels and you just sink down and now you're stuck. And the automatic transmission freaks out because it doesn't know what's going on. So it tries to shift into all kinds of different gears and then again, you sink right down and you're stuck. It's always best to have a manual transmission. I have a traction control off switch here, which is important. You can make sure you have that on your truck. I can always turn it off, but the best thing to do is make sure you have a manual truck. If you have a choice in what truck you're driving. I understand a lot of us don't have a choice. You work with what you're given. This is a very rough road. But don't worry, they put up a sign that says surface brakes. So that makes it okay. They warned you. Feels like quite a remote area of the province. This is definitely not my home region of Manitoba. 
not because of the roads. That's not why I say that. It's just that they got like hills here. Look at that. There's the Trans Canada. I'm gonna follow the 240 north up here. I'm gonna go through Portage La Prairie. I've never taken this road before. Well, I feel better knowing that I'm not the only truck on this road. That's a training vehicle. Take the next left onto Crescent Road East. Left. So straight is what you're telling me. Oh, looks like we get to go over a big bridge. That's fun. Excuse me, you got a stop sign, right? Right? My turn. Man, my feet were cold, now my feet are hot. There's no winning. Look at these little houses. They're like the size of our house. That's even smaller than our house. Wow. Oh, we don't even have to wait for the train. That's nice. Portage La Prairie gets it. Overpasses. I don't know what's up with Winnipeg. Look at all those grain cars. Whoo. Wonder where they're going. We're way high up here now. Wow. It's like the highest anyone's been in Manitoba. We're going straight out. There's a truck with a green circle around it with arrows pointing in every direction except backwards. We can go any direction except backwards. So for those of you who are from overseas or from the United States or from elsewhere in Canada, it's a big country. This is what Portage La Prairie, Manitoba looks like. In early March, 2022. We don't always have this much snow, but sometimes we do. It's kind of nice today. Nice and sunshiny. This is Tupper Street North. You could have taken it one step further and called it Tupperware Street. Huh. Very nice, right? right? Look at all those drifts. Wow, I just want to take a snowmobile through that. When I was younger, I had a snowmobile. And that is prime snowmobile and real estate right there, all those drifts. <laughs> I would waste a whole afternoon there. Oh yeah, it goes all the way along here. Man, that'd be fun. Up and down and up and down. Makes me miss the smell of two-stroke exhaust. Oh, that was always the best part after you parked your snowmobile because you're all sad that snowmobiling's over for the day, right? But then you smell your suit that you're wearing, your snowmobile suit, and it smells like that two-stroke exhaust. Oh, so good. But you know, as a kid, I, I lived at home with my parents then. Mom would always get mad if I took it in the house. Because then the whole house smelled like two-stroke exhaust. I thought that was a good thing. No, she didn't think so. Alright. This took a lot longer than I thought it would. I was told it would be just a simple, you know, simple pickup. No problem. Oh yeah, just like five to six, five, seven skids. Five or seven skids. Oh yeah, it'd be fun, they said. Oh, it'd be easy, they said. Oh, yeah. Whew. But we got it done. We got her all tied down here. Satisfied with it. And uh, <sighs> time to head out. It's one of the more difficult ones I've done in a while. Just because it's a whole bunch of mismatched, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Here and there, reels, all kinds of stuff. And you get some little things up there yet. You got to tie that down, wrap it around. big mess but we made it nice and neat as neat as we could
my face is really warm right now, or it feels really warm. <laughs> it got so cold there for a while. I wasn't wearing my face mask. And it got a little cold pretty good. It gets cold quickly when the sun starts going down. Bud green light, give her. Give her, you're gonna be late for hockey practice, man. Get that minivan in gear. There he goes. This is Portage La Prairie, uh, Main Street, I guess is what you'd call it. It's a really long Main Street. It goes through the whole city. A lot of old architecture here too. This is a pretty old city. I believe it's one of the older settlements in Manitoba. Oh, I see a gas station over there. A dollar seventy-four per liter. Oh, ouch! That's over five bucks a gallon. I'm pretty sure. If we're talking America speak, man. You know Alberta is helping their citizens. The Alberta government's dropping the fuel tax. So the price for gas will go down and give give their citizens some relief. I'm hoping Manitoba does something of, something of the same. We need some relief. This is a uh, wow. Diesel is a what does that say? A dollar ninety, almost two bucks a gallon. Sorry, a liter. Two bucks a liter. That's got to be about six dollars or more a gallon. I'm not. I'm just doing rough math in my head right now. I'm not that smart. I can't do math that quickly wow what a world we're living in eh what a world Made it back to the yard, it's eight o'clock. Uh, I gotta deliver this load first thing in the morning and then pick up a new load and do it all over again tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be quite as long of a day tomorrow, but if, if it is, I mean, then it is. We stay until the job gets done. Okay, let's grab the warm gloves that I remembered to put on the dash. Yeah, I got started at 7.30 this morning, too. It was a long day. And you saw me. Like, I didn't even stop for lunch. No lunch, no nothing. All I did was I, uh, I stopped to go to the bathroom at uh, Oak Bluff there, which was literally 10 minutes. The rest of the time was just... Oh, we don't know this mess. I'm gonna hook back onto this trailer first thing in the morning, so I'm just gonna leave it right here. And uh, everything looks like it's where I left it, which is always good. I always like to see that nothing, nothing fell off. <laughs> yeah, everything looks as it should. Good. Okay, we're gonna leave it right here. Uh, come on. Uh. I've got to unhook it for the night, though. Yeah, time just 
flies by when you're having fun, eh? It doesn't really feel like I've been here over 12 hours. It's one benefit to really liking your job. <laughs> I really do like my job, and I'm not just saying that either. I really, really do enjoy what I do. <clears throat> that makes it a lot easier. That's just my suspension adjusting. That's okay. This truck is kind of nice because it's got these fancy little holders here for my glad hands. Where they stay neat and don't get full of snow. And they just stay right there. Okay. Lower the suspension, sets the trailer down a little easier. There we go. Put the suspension back up before going any further. Oh. Time to go park and go home. <laughs> 